everyone. Welcome to our tutorial today with the Putnam County District Library. I'm Addie, and today we're talking about AI, or artificial intelligence, and how bad actors are using it to their advantage to scam people out of money and sensitive information. AI has been in the news a lot lately, and we're all still learning about it, what it is, how it works, and what it's capable of. I'm going to cover two ways cyber criminals are using AI. The first is using voice cloning, and the second is through bogus ads for fake AI tools. These are just a few examples to give you an idea of what's possible. Rest assured, more ways will surface as AI becomes more widely used. I'll also share some tips to prevent yourself from falling victim. So let's get started. So tactic number one is the use of voice cloning. The FTC and law enforcement agencies have received many, many reports of the following scenario. Victims receive a panicked phone call from a loved one, often a grandchild, who is in trouble with the police and needs money for fines, bail, or legal fees. Oftentimes, the story includes a car accident and even potential drug possession in the car, and the grandkiddo does not want to face their parents yet. Either way, they need your help. The craziest part is, even though you've been warned about grandparent scams, it sounds just like your grandchild because the scammers have used a short audio clip of your family member's voice to clone their voice and then make that voice say whatever they want it to. Okay, they are literally cloning the voice of your loved one. All they need to do this is a video clip found online of your loved one's voice, perhaps found on a YouTube video or another social media site. They've also researched the grandchild's personal details, where they live and work, and names of other family members. They used the, they used the cloned voice to convince victims, the grandparents, to send money to pay their family members' bills or fees. So I have tips to protect yourself against these AI voice cloning scams. Number one, don't panic. This is a big one. That's why I put it at number one. Don't panic. If this situation happens to you, try to remain calm and in control of the situation and the phone call. Okay, don't panic. Number two, continue to listen or watch out for requests for gift cards specifically card numbers and pins, gift cards, cryptocurrency, or wiring money. These are all still red flags for you, okay? These are tactics that scammers use, the payment method. So if somebody asks, if somebody calls you up and they say they need a gift card, cryptocurrency, or they need you to wire money, that's a red flag. It's probably a scam, okay? Number three, if your family member says they're calling you from a police station, Find out which station and hang up and call the number listed for that police station. So hang up, call them back on a number that is listed for that police station, not a number they give you to call back. Okay? Number four, try calling the family member's personal phone number. Or if they're young and in school, call the school to find out if they're present in class or not. Okay, so try to reach out to them via their personal phone number. They may answer because it may be a scam and they may say, oh, I'm fine. You know, so try calling their number. And number five, if you can't reach your loved one, try to get in touch with them through another family member or friend. Okay, contact someone else who knows them and has their contact information. Have them try to call or reach out. Okay, so. Those are five tips for dealing with voice cloning AI scams. Switching gears here, tactic number two that scammers use, bogus or fake ads for fake AI tools. So basically, cyber criminals create fake ads for AI tools, and then they post them on social media and search engine sites like Google. So they will post an ad for an artificial intelligence tool that you can click on and download and use in your own life, but it's all fake. The AI is not real, the ad is a fake ad. If you click on one of these malicious ads, you are either taken to a cloned site 
that downloads malware on your device. Or you're taken to the real AI software tool, but you end up downloading the malware through a back door, making it even harder to realize you've been hacked. Once the criminals are in, they can steal your info and sell it to other hackers on the dark web, or they get access to your online accounts and use them to scam others. It's important to note that these malware hackers know how to evade detection. They can fool the systems designed to recognize fake ads, and they can fool your antivirus software. So I have a couple tips to avoid malicious fake ads for fake AI software. Number one, don't click on ads to download software. Instead, open a brand new browser tab and visit the website by typing in the address or doing a Google search for that AI tool. You can just Google the name of the AI tool and type in AI tool and search for it that way. Keep in mind that scammers are placing ads on search engines. They will appear at the top of your, of your search results page and may even have the words ad or sponsored as a label. You want to scroll past the ads or the sponsored results to get your real search results, okay? So don't click on an ad to download a piece of software, whether it's an AI tool or something else, okay? Don't click on the ad, open a new browser tab, search for the name of the tool or program or whatever it is and try to find it that way. Okay, don't just click on the link for an ad. Number two, continue to be very, very wary and cautious when considering downloading anything from the internet. Okay, just in general, be very wary when you're trying, if, when you're considering downloading something off the internet. And number three, keep your computer or mobile device up to date on security software, operating system, and internet browsers. So your security software is like your antivirus for your computer or your laptop. Your operating system is the system that your phone or your iPad or your other mobile device uses. And your internet browsers are how you get on the internet. All of those things regularly have updates and you need to make sure that you do the update. You don't just hit ignore, ignore, ignore forever. Okay, do your updates. They are usually they include security patches for issues that have come up and they and developers realize are there. So updating makes you more safe. Okay, that is all I have for today. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.